Do you want the ultimate zone buster build? 611 can hit any shot in any situation. Has a post bag, a shot creator bag, a sharpshooter bag, can throw dimes, and also can break angles at will. This is my Kevin Durant build. All right, so to make this build, you wanna come over to your open my career slot. Uh, for me, I've already made the build, so I'm gonna select this one. Uh, make sure you select Rebirth if you have that uh, available. Uh, so, and ignore the name. Uh, I've already moved on to the build <laughs> at this point. Uh, but small forward, right-handed, jersey number 35 because we're doing a classic Kevin Durant. Uh, 6'11", 210 pounds, wingspan 6'11", body shape compact. Uh, this is how I made him the first time. And I'm not gonna lie, I would change a couple things. But let's go over some key things real quick. The things I wouldn't change at all, 94, midi, that's you can get Hall of Fame blinders. Uh, where is it, Hall of Fame blinders? That's a really clutch badge on a 6'11 player. It feels like nobody can contest you. 92 three-pointer. That is for limitless range on gold. Uh, also dead eye on gold. Really clutch badges. 93 free throw knockdown on your free throws. Also helps with offensive and consistency. Um, 85 pass accuracy. Wouldn't change that for anything because that gives you the lamello ball pass style, which is my favorite pass style in the game. It's how I throw most of my dimes. 75 ball handle gives you silver unpluckable, uh, which is really important. And then speed with ball no lower than 67 because that's a badge point. I put it at 69 on this build. All right, if I were to redo this build because it's really good, but I kind of messed up a little bit. What I would do is just take the strength down. I had it at an 80. I'll bring it all the way down till it uh, affects something. There we go, it's affecting that. And actually, I wouldn't mind this coming down either. Let me see when I lose a badge point. So right there. So I'll take it to 57. Uh, and then I would take all of that. I start with one more there. So I can get gold limitless takeoff. Uh, I come all the way up to get gold slithery, which is a dangerous combination. Um, and then I'd make sure just for offensive consistency, put that at a 75 and then bring this up a little bit. And already this is gonna get you like way more offensive consistency. He's gonna be way better at slashing. You're gonna notice uh, a huge change with this already. Still got crazy defense. Uh, and when I say crazy, like for 6'11", this guy can play the perimeter really well. He could probably play like the wings, you know, in like a 2-3 zone instead of the corner, uh, which also makes it a little easier to rotate. If you do play the corner from corner to wing, it makes that rotation easier. He's 6'11", he can't really get boards and he can't really block shots. He's definitely more of a perimeter player. That's what he's designed to do. Uh, and he, like I said, he's a zone buster. So you're kind of operating within like, you know, two threes and three twos and, and, you know, triangle and all that type of stuff. So this is how I would make them right here, pretty much. Uh, double ankle breaking shots takeover, but of course you get slashing, shot creating, and sharp shooting as your choice. Uh, if I made them like this, Instead of a sharpshooter, which is the original name, it would give me... It might still be sharpshooter, actually. Let me see. Yeah, still a sharpshooter, which is funny. But uh, this is probably how I would make it. All right, for the badges. Uh, now, obviously, you're gonna have more badges the way I remade it. Uh, I have Silver Limitless Takeoff, Bronze Acrobat, Bronze Slithery, Bronze Posterizer, Bronze Fearless. Uh, Fearless will be gold with the way I remade it. Uh, Slither will be gold, Limitless will be gold, and Acrobat will all be gold with the way I remade the build. So make sure you put your badges accordingly for those. Um, I run double shooting, uh, double shooting core badges. So for this, you can see I have it like really decked out. So Limitless is cored. 
uh, Gold, Deadeye, Gold, Green Machine, Hoff, Blinders, Hoff, Volume Shooter, Hoff, Space Creator, Hoff, Midi Magician, Hoff, Agent 3, as high as you can get it, which is Gold, Amped on Hall of Fame, Clutch Shooter on Hall of Fame, and Comeback Kid on Silver. All of this makes you the type of build that in any situation you can get a shot up it's going to be a good shot your 611 your shooting's masked out any any post shot any shot could shot any shot you can think of in your brain that you might not take on a different build you should take it on this build right splitting doubles whatever tough shots it doesn't matter like whatever play style you have for shooting getting shots up this build's going to be able to do that no problem whatsoever um, if you didn't go double shooting takeover, I might go double playmaking takeover. Uh, Cause the other things Bill has, so silver unpluckables cord. I got vice grip gold, quick first step bronze, uh, break starter silver, bailout on gold, clamp breakers kind of just extra, uh, and handles for days. I, I like handles for days. It's a really good badge to have tier one on this build. I wish I could get it higher, but obviously can't. Um, you know, a special delivery would be really good to have. Dimer would be really good to have, but you know, uh, Dimer is really expensive. Special delivery, ah, I like the reason I have vice grip on is because getting the ball in the post really helps with that catch and then helps with rebounding a little bit. Also helps with uh, alley oops a little bit. You may not have realized, but vice grip pops up on alley oops, uh, just makes it easier for you to catch the ball over traffic. Defense. Uh, this is going to be cored on Hall of Fame when I get there. I'm working on coring this on gold. Uh, but for now, work first gold, glove, bronze. Uh, Interceptor is going to be on bronze for sure. Challenger bronze, off ball pest as high as you can get it cored. I think I'm going to get one or two. No, I'm going to get two more badges with this too. So probably either pick dodger or ankle braces take your pick and then interceptor are the two extra ones you're going to want to put on um you're not going to get brick wall once you take the strength all the way down and then box out beast i don't think you're going to get box out beast either when you take the strength down so you don't have to worry about those badges that's how i do the badges for the animations um dribble style pro Signature size up Carmelo Anthony the reason for this pro is like the fastest I can get at 611 Carmelo Anthony is fast. I know a lot of people use Giannis. I know a lot of people use uh, I'll get the uh, Kawhi. A lot of people use Kawhi. Carmelo for me is fast But he also can kind of like shift the direction you run in when you size up like a little bit more You can go kind of wider or kind of like shorter on the angle when you uh, try to explode out um, so I, I like Carmelo a little better than the others Kevin Durant signature size up for that that quick step back the the quick cross like not the crossovers but the the size of escape crossovers where he kind of like glides to the left glides to the right um, LeBron James crossover really fast crossover uh, moving behind the back pro really good behind the back for being 611 moving spin Kevin Durant I don't do any spin backs with this character. I can get basic spin back. Every character can get basic spin back. But Kevin Durant kind of gives you like a, a fast move up the court to combo with the behind the back pro. So sometimes it's nice because people will reach at you and think like they can just rip it from you because you're too big. And I've spun off a lot of people doing that. Rajon Rondo Hezzy because you can get like the people always talk about the Zach Levine has you can get the Rajon Rondo like super hezzy out of this one too by going wide uh, and then you get like a really big speed boost with it normal step back for the Asta slide Joel Embiid triple threat and again pass style Lamella ball my favorite pass style in the game highly recommend it uh, we'll talk about jump shot in a second free throw 73 layup style Joel Embiid if I could change this uh, when I, I I would say you want um, long athletic long athletic for a 611 player if you can get it which you're gonna be able to get when you upgrade your layup highly recommend long athletic uh, it's not great for smaller players but when you're 611 doing a long athletic layup it's really hard to contest it so uh, for the dunks I think I have all the obvious stuff so we'll go over that in a second as well Kevin Durant pull up it gives you the long like kind of fades and they're like they're a little bit 
longer to time but for me when you're taller like it's okay to take that extra second to like to shoot it because you're also creating more space um spin jumper normal uh i wouldn't use any of the other spin jumpers spin jumper normal will get you into animations really fast so you can like spin to the middle spin to the left spin to the right kind of you know get break down the zone basically like if it's a two three you can get to that little midi area uh where it's uncontested really fast hop jumper normal two um this is where this is the one that breaks all the angles right so if you want to get a lot of angle breakers hop jumper normal two is a great way to do that you run full speed holding r2 and then hold down on the right stick and a lot of times if you catch them backpedaling or you catch them taking a bad angle to get you you can break them like right there uh post fade pro 2 uh long fadeaway is really good i don't use post hooks but joel Embiid's my favorite and kobe bryant hop shot really good hop shot now for the jump shot drum roll do 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 it is chris bosh bass dirk Nowitzki, dirk Nowitzki, as fast as you can get it uh chris bosh or yeah i don't know i just i fell in love with this jump shot i don't know why it just is really smooth for me i was using o'shea Brissett a lot i was really trying to get that one down i couldn't get it as much as i wanted to with the higher offensive consistency and this is important because right now we'll, and we're going to talk about this i'm only a 97 on this character right now i'm going to get a little bit higher offensive consistency when i upgrade my player right now my guy's offensive consistency is do, 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 a 94 so he's probably gonna max out at about a 95 ish if i had to guess or he might stay at a 94 hard to tell uh when he when he maxes out he's gonna be a really really solid knockdown shooter uh keep in mind with the higher the offensive consistency you get it opens up different jump shots to be able to use a lot of youtubers don't talk about that the reason there's like one money jump shot all year is because most people make similar builds uh and some jump shots are just better than other jump shots period first off but then amongst the jump shots that are just better there's ones that work for different outfits and consistencies most people made like six nines this year they made them that can do everything so you're gonna have you know if you make a do everything build uh and with a decent amount of defense you're probably gonna have like high 80s uh, or maybe like super low 90s, like 91 offensive consistency. So all the jump shots you see cater to that, right? Uh, and then for bigs, the bigs are gonna have lower offensive consistency. Most bigs, most 6'11 players are bigger, 6'10 and bigger, are gonna have lower offensive consistency because they wanna be able to do other things. They wanna be able to rebound, block shots, you know, um, things that a big man will be able to do, but still have like guard skills. So they're gonna have like high 70s, low 80s offensive consistency, most of those. So that's what a lot of the shots are there for, for that. Uh, if you were rocking like 95 and up, different jump shot uh, start opening up to you basically. So keep that in mind. And when you remake, when you make the build that I told you to make, the one that I didn't make, uh, the one I think is better, you you may want to try O'Shea Brissett over Chris Bosh. Um, but right now, Chris Bosh, I would try that first, right? So that's my recommendation. For the dunks, uh, all the contact dunks you can get, which is just the pros, uh, and all of them pro, pro, and then, um, did I not equip these? Uh, I equipped standing dunks too, and then let me bring it back, uh, elite and pro alley-oops, as well as pro contact alley-oops, then quick drops, uh, these are gonna be your best friend for sure, uh, I use LeBron James dunk package. I don't use really much else. Um, if I could use something else, I'd use Michael Jordan, but I don't know that you can get the 88, or I don't know that it's even worth it to get the 88 to use it. It's a really good dunk package. It gets you those really long animations, but quick drops are also really long. So, you know, take your pick. Uh, 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 other than that, that's pretty much everything I use for the dunks. I don't use too much crazy with this character. This is just kind of like a sneak dunker. Like he, he gets like the blow by because someone's trying to stop him from getting the three or the midi, and then I just go to the rim real fast. Uh, save and exit. 
and that's essentially my Kevin Durant build. Uh, appreciate y'all for watching the video, guys. Uh, just got back from being married. I'm married now. Got back from my honeymoon. Uh, trying to focus on, you know, moving into this new apartment, holding down a job. Uh, well, a couple different jobs, really. Um, and just a bunch of different stuff, y'all. That's why the videos have been inconsistent lately. I'm gonna try to start posting more videos uh, in the near future here. I really wanna start taking this stuff seriously. Um, we got almost 50,000 followers on TikTok, almost 5,000 on YouTube. Uh, appreciate y'all for watching, man. I really appreciate it. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, post them down below. I don't always respond, but I do try to always read them uh, and take into consideration the things y'all say. Uh, so as always, hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm out.